Thank you everyone for joining us. And so these are our two possible solutions that you guys can use to help reduce retention rate. And this was created by Ashley, Abby, Peter, Brooke, Nathan, Emma, and Hannah. Now on to Aurora. Our driving question is, how can JR uh, domination improve retention? Thank you, Aurora. Now I'm gonna give you guys a summary of our creative journey and how we got to the idea that we did. We split it up into uh, three stages. The first one being the investigation stage where we looked at some employee interviews and their exit interview data to determine what was the problem and where we should start. And then we were also lucky enough to get a tour of one of the JR facilities. And then after that, we moved to the incubation stage where we started narrowing down with a skinny list and some voting. And we discussed some more with like what ideas we liked. And then we moved to the final solution stage where we did some storytelling, which is where we just gave our own ideas and what we thought. And we did a practice presentation to another team and they gave us some critical feedback. And that's how we got to the solution we did. I'm now gonna pass on to Ashley. Ashley, I think you're still on mute. Sorry. There you go. So your guys' problem was that you guys had high turnover rate. And so we wanted to involve family competitions in order to develop a family environment. And we wanted to help families afford childcare in order to give parents a reason to pay because only about 6% of companies afford childcare. We came up with two solutions. One of them is a long-term solution and it is for JR to help with childcare. Our second solution is short is a short-term solution and it is in order and it is to have employee team competitions to help with team bonding. I'll now pass it on to Nathan. Child care assistance. This is the long-term expensive option where JR will fund for some or all of child care for some of its employees. And Abby is going to talk about like how much it's going to cost. So, All right. Thanks, Nathan. So in the U.S., child care costs around $10,000 per child per year. So for the average family with two kids and an average income, that's like 30% of their income. So obviously, anything JR can do to help reduce this will be a huge help to families and a big draw into the company. So our plan is for JR to give each employee with kids with child care needs um, $1,000 in the form of a voucher every January that can, they can use at the daycare of their choice. Um, so assuming that there's 300 full-time employees who have child care needs, um, this would cost around $300,000 per year, but this could easily change based on how many employees there actually are with kids and um, how much money will be given to each employee. So now Peter's going to talk about how this will increase retention. Thanks, Abby. Um, now you may be wondering how this will actually increase retention. Um, we have two reasons. The first one is the personal benefits. And the reason we wanted to focus on personal benefits is because in looking at the exit interview data that you gave us, we noticed that personal reasons were, was one of the highest reasons for employees leaving. So we, we thought that a company that helps with daycare is a company that thinks deeper than just the employee, which a lot of uh, employees would value that. And then there's also the financial benefit. And this is another way of giving a bonus. You are gonna have to spend money but this is not a normal way of doing that. All the other companies give normal bonuses, but you guys could be unique and special in doing this. And those are the great reasons to stay with JR Automation. JR will um, 
fund for vouchers to give to daycares <clears throat> or just give the employees the money and then they can the employees will take that over to the daycare where the daycare will help um care for their children while they are at work and it might even be possible to partner with a nearby daycare perhaps for to maybe lower the prices a little bit and then Emma, Emma's going to talk to you guys here about the shorter term solution. Thank you, Nathan. So our second idea is to do some employee competitions. And we mainly wanted to give you guys an idea that you could implement tomorrow. And it's to help build relationships among coworkers and some ideas and competitions have some where you may need a kid. So now on to Hannah. So some of the competition games that you would play throughout the year is a scrap challenge, Hungry Hungry Robots, which is similar to Hungry Hungry Hippos, Prank Month, and a water balloon fight. S Prank Month is just, again, as it is in the name, is all month. Most of them are all, all only just an hour. Except scrap challenge is hour and 30 minutes too. So Emma is gonna tell you more about the games. Thank you, Hannah. And a couple more games that we have is Scavenger Hunt, a game show, which is like Family Feud, Nerf War, and Funky Dress Up. Now the Nerf War can be all month, and the Funky Dress Up will be all day, so then you don't gotta change it work. Now back on to Hannah. The last two games that we have is a balloon volleyball and a lip sync battle. Some of these games you can also include your kids, like the lip sync battle. Now, on to Brooke. Thank you, Hannah. The rules for these employee team competitions would be no headshots, the floor where all the machinery is is off limits for obvious safety reasons, and um, no cheating and no one would be excluded. The prices for these competitions um, would be uh, and it would be a prize for winning the most points um, in over a number of competitions each quarter. Um, well, the first prize would be a Rage Room coupon. If you chose that, you would have to have a liability waiver. And the Rage Room is a concept is nicely displayed in a video um, below. And um, another choice would be um, PTO, um, pizza party, or Visa gift cards, or an extra break. This would be at the discretion of the employee that would win. Um, and the team aspect um, would be employees are divided into teams and the teams would be randomly assigned based on the number of workers every quarter. And just for the, for the competition supplies, um, recreational items like skateboards employees could bring in uh, if they have them and, um, and it, everything would get sanitized, taking out some health concerns. And HR would run these competitions. And company, co uh, company costs like would be for smaller items that might the employees would not have on hand, like like water balloons, balloons, and Nerf guns. And the prices are all displayed below. And now I'm gonna pass you on to Abby. Thanks, Brooke. So as we've said before, child care assistance will increase retention because it benefits young families and then that will make them want to stay for hopefully their whole careers. Um, it shows JR's values of being family friendly and focused on their employees. And it's a good financial bonus for employees that they'd want to stay for that. And then the employee competitions build community and foster a fun work environment. So now Emma will close us off. Thank you, Abby. Thank you guys so much for listening and we hope you really consider our couple ideas. Any questions that you may have for us?